greetings. This is Rasa Tiba and I'm a servant of London in Brooklyn, New York. And beside me here is uh, Infinity Welcome to Saturday Mondays, Infinity. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to be here. Man. And uh, I, want, I want you to share with the world what uh, Infinity Brookwood is all about. So when did you start it out? your quest into this beautiful art form of the poetry. Ever since we was a baby, yeah, I'm okay, it's dope. I'm trying and making all those songs and then the baby language is done. <laughs> so, as you, as you see, he's no youth. So just imagine over 50 odd years, and maybe 60. And maybe 20. And maybe 20 years. <laughs> so he has been uh, dubbing from birth. As an infinity, I've known you for almost 20 years and you have been, you know, an inspiration in I and I life as a dope poet. And you're the first real serious Rasta man I, you know, run into when I first came to New York. You had a bookstore right next to this place and sell only cultural, positive, and you name it. So, what you been doing? Well, like Marcus Garvey say, you know, a people without the knowledge of this true history, like a tree without roots. My mission has always been to uplift. So, because if you don't know the root or the square root of anything, you don't know nothing, you know nothing. So, my quest has always been to research history, geography, and anthropology to know where we're coming from, where we're going, and how we plan to get there. So, yeah, your music now. So if someone was, after watching this interview, was interested in purchasing or getting you know, more familiar with your stuff, where could we find some of your work? Well, you could find some works in YouTube, Dub Point Infinity, and also on Facebook, Dub Point Infinity or Dub Infinity. Suppose I wanted to purchase. Purchase. You yeah, have not put, put the product on the market as yet. But I took it to a level where it's totally right. So many times it was supposed to come up and that hell, but by the time is the time draw at night. So do you have like a, a time that we could say, okay, yes, it's next year, next month, yeah. and we could, you know? I'm projecting sometime in September. Okay. Looking yeah. at more like September. I don't want to call it until I'm sure. So, so you're trying to do the, the, the album release at Sarbi to do? Most naturally. Okay, and that should be really an pleasure for us, right? And look, yes. yes. Uh, I think you want the first and for really push roots and culture and made it fun because last week you had a flatboat street fair and you, you know, was the first to in charge of our stage and you gave a lot of upcoming artists the opportunity to express themselves. Even me and a poor veteran, I was there sharing the stage with you and others. This was really a beautiful time. So, I know you are passed through tonight and it's uh, always, you know, a blessing to see a man like you come through. Because I know you have to touch the mic later on for us. We have one piece also. So, you know, let's make the world, let's give them a little preview of how they will get it up on YouTube. How they will come as a bit and when it will be a feature, it's the infinity and the album release. So, she's a world. You know, I'm going to share with you, see. I'll give you a simple one. Yes. It should be coming out in a documentary called The Wall Street Bank Search. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? The cookie jar was full. The cookie jar had plenty. Now the cookie jar empty. You see, Fannie Mae was feeling pain. And Freddie Mac had a heart attack. Mary Lynch, <laughs> she was feeling the pinch. She was looking kind of scary. She was looking like Lynch Mary. Lehman Brothers, who no longer slave brothers. 
So they went for the slave ship, the SS Barclay, the bitch. The slave ship, the SS Barclay, the bitch. Goldman Sachs got flat with 10 billion Warren Buffett. Only oh, Miss Buffett could remain on the top. AIG, not full of AIDS. Yes, AIDS. H I V positive. Having intercourse virtually with the pimp, the FRD. City Group almost became a corpse. Saved by China, then up, gone out to dinner. A JP Stanley Morgan Chase continued to manufacture chemicals. The banks began to style. Like a wild fern, them snatch bears turn. That was not crucial. With two million them snatch Washington Mutual, three billion. Citywide took a slide and Boba took a slide and snatched Citywide. Wells Fargo has far to go. No, Wells Fargo wells are fully well and Wells Fargo money build jails and prisons and break down the schools. HSBC always drinking Chinese tea. So I say, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? In 1999, they deregulated the banking system, whereby mortgage companies, hedge money funding, and others could partake in mortgage illegally. Which did we know when it was about Y2K in 1999? That it would happen right in our face and we did not imagine it. That in the year 2000, when the mines were frozen, the selection was molded and the election was stolen. Then why 2K1, Afghanistan, as a result of the World Trade Center, then Iraq, then WorldCom, then 2005, the 29th of August, Katrina, it was not natural, it was man made operation. They blew the levy. Little did we know that 29 of August, you turn 29 around and get 92. And 92 was 911 in our face again. You see, I will never hire a carpenter to fix my carburetor or a mason to fix my refrigerator. Hedge money, some crime, criminals. You see, their motto is, I came, I saw, I conquer for the international banksters. I came, I saw, I conquer for the international banksters. And that's what it's all about. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? It's not the bull, it's not the beer. Who? Stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Yes. So touch of what? Just a touch of what to do. And the obvious educational and all the methods behind it. Every time. Every time.